Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. We have a special one for you today. If you didn't notice, there's somebody else right here by me. It's my brother, the guy that's been behind the scenes editing all those recent videos. So if you've seen a little uptick in the video quality, that's the reason why. And if you haven't, I don't know what happened. So you know this channel is all about education, right? The new tractor owner, maybe even the guy who's had that 8N or 9N, grew up on the farm, but getting into the subcompact or compact world, you don't know what this stuff's all about, how to take it on, take it off. I wanna show you how easy or how difficult this is, kind of comparing an expert, me, versus a total novice, somebody who doesn't know anything about tractors, a city slicker, more city slicker-ish than I am, okay? So we're gonna give them all the benefits that we can, all the benefit of the doubt. We're gonna let them see the videos where I take it on and off, the manual, he's gonna see me in person do it. So he's gonna have all sorts of stuff, just like you guys can see, and then we'll see how he actually does from beginning to end and how much longer it takes him to do it than me. Now I'm looking forward to seeing my brother do this, but before we get to that, would you consider hitting that subscribe button right underneath the video? Give me a thumbs up too if you would, I'd really appreciate it. And as always, check that description below. You're gonna see all sorts of accessories and attachments all over this tractor. The 1025R, good for other tractors as well. Mirrors, mirror brackets, grab handles, tie down points, chainsaw holders, you name it. The list goes on. Read that description right underneath the video. You'll have links to all this kind of stuff right down there. And I've got a fresh, 120R loader manual, okay, that I'm opening up, fresh out of the bag, it was sealed, so you can tell it wasn't tampered with. And I'm only doing this because I know he's gonna make excuses for why something went wrong. So I just want you guys to see, that was fresh out of the bag right there. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and read the manual here, and that's boring, right? Sometimes it doesn't make sense, you got the pictures, you got the words, it doesn't all add up. So that's why I make these videos, because that can really help kind of tell the story or, make it all kind of go in motion together and really work so but in all seriousness he's not homeless he had a good job out in portland in oregon okay and then he left it i had to pay him to come hang out with me that's the only way i could get him to hang out with me but he's here now so we're going to put him to work we're going to see how this goes and if he doesn't completely fall on his face we'll do some more videos like this in the future brother versus brother you know mono versus mono mano versus mano mono versus mono and, you know, I'm happy to beat him in all of these competitions. And if I can think of more, I will. One thing you want to keep in mind, though, is that you want to always put your bucket back on your loader. Don't do this with a set of forks or with a snow pusher or with some other kind of attachment or without an attachment on the end of your loader. Make sure you get your bucket back on there because that's going to eliminate a headache. Maybe not with taking it off, but certainly with putting it back on. I really should have set a time limit. Is that uh, all making sense to you? Um, I hate to admit it, but I think I'm going to pull up your video. That's why I make them. So I'm going to talk really loud, that way he can't hear the video to give him every disadvantage I can possibly think of. But you want to make sure you're doing this on a smooth, level surface that's going to simplify the process, all right? I also had some weights mounted on the front hanger bracket here, 41 pound suitcase weights that you can actually hang on the integrated black frame of the tractor itself. I did take those off just in case. I've actually removed and reinstalled it with those weights there, but I don't want any excuses. I don't want anything in the way for them. Easy peasy. And while we're killing time here, if you haven't seen it, I did a video all about it. A little uh, storage hack. Find something to fit inside there. Every tube on the different loaders are gonna be a different diameter, some bigger than others. However, it's a convenient place to get a little bit more storage on a machine where there's very little storage to begin with. Links below on where you can get these or check out that video. How much you pay for that video, Chris? It's no free kidding? Information. Free information, yeah, wow. Some, some wacko on YouTube makes them. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Don't skip ahead. I think I got it. Well, you got one more shot here to watch me do it and then it'll be your turn. I want you guys to know, my brother was trying to cheat. Off camera, he was saying, well, okay, so there's this one little thing to do, but does that mean does that mean this or the other thing? And I said, hey, I'm not helping you, okay? You got the manual, you got the video, and you got me doing it first. What more help do you need? I'm saying, if that video had been a little bit better, I might not have any questions left. So now it's my turn to show them how to do it. So here we go.
there for now. <clears throat> All right. Right here, yeah, let's go right here. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, that was good. Get it in there, come on. Good, good. Right there. Right there. There, I think we're good. Give me the time. I'm working at it. Take off, what, six seconds for that? I'll check the video. Probably more like eight or ten seconds you need I'll to take off. Video. 227. 227? Well, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna win. Well, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it's gonna take you three times that long. So seven and a half minutes. I can't bore the people for that long. Well, you're already boring them, but we're gonna watch you anyway, and we'll speed through it. We'll put it in super speed just to get it, uh, you know, to take a little bit shorter amount of time. Well, so he's thinking about it right now. I should have gone first right after I watched the video. No, you don't get to go first. You I get to watch the video, you get to watch the instructions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to watch me, right. and now you just gotta do it, okay? We're gonna go for it. Yeah. Hey, if I break anything, I'm not buying it. You no, know, you are buying it. That's no. right, that's right, and you're, we have a contract, right? All right, this is going to be great. It's a sign of confidence right there. <laughs> wow, uh-oh. Refresher and then we'll, we'll rise. <laughs> be right back. Okay, so um, yeah, this is uh, this is take two on this. You know, refresher was required, so I told him that he's disqualified. That's, that's DQ. So no. Well, it, it, these are the rules. We both agreed to this when we <laughs> we did. We agreed. Okay. These are the terms of the competition, but this is what he's been doing his whole life. Guys, I mean, he just kind of tries to change it, you know, the babe. I know how to use the glow plugs. Well, that's good. That's good. Okay, here we go. He's looking confident. Real confident. Oh, yeah.
Time, time is still running. Time is still running. This is a learning moment here. But too far. Extended too far out. And I think that's causing our problem. I've never actually had this problem before. <laughs> but I think that's creating the issue here with the hoses not being long enough. Really noble of you. I thought it was pretty thoughtful. I think we're looking a lot better though. Folks, while he's uh, getting this tractor realigned, basically what happened there was it was extended too far out, okay? And so it changed the angle, and basically your, your front axle here can only go so far. It's gonna kind of butt up right to the back side of the loader stand here. So it pitched everything way out here further back, change the angle, and therefore the hoses didn't have that additional length to reach all the way back and tie into the couplers. So kind of squashed it all together, squeezed it together a little bit. That way he can get closer right up to the frame in a better position for these hoses here to come right down and then attach to his couplers when he's in the right position. This right, uh, right here, Needs to rest right down in there. So you're good. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Let's see that time. See if I can give it my touch. Okay, turn your light on. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get the gloves off. Let's get that official time. I can't wait to see what it is. I'm pretty sure I was wrong. Uh, six minutes. <laughs> yeah, here we go. 16 and a half minutes. All right. Hey, not too bad with the big screw up. And look at the damage. Get closer for that damage on the ground. Yeah, look at these are some. Some significant markings. Keep that in mind. Okay. All right. Listen, I want one more try. I've done it now. Okay. I know the pitfall to avoid. Yeah. And I'll uh, go up against your time. Okay. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's do one more take on this. Okay. Well, uh, he thinks he's got it down. So he wants to do one more try. One more shot. We're going to give it to him. We're going to see how he does. You ready? Well, I just want to say uh -huh. we had about a 15 minute interruption, so everything I just learned, I forgot. Oh, good. But Perfect. I, I still think this will be faster. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. What do you got? Uh, 506. Hey! So twice as long as you said. Yeah, but knocked off over 10 minutes. Alright, you know what? We'll do this again in three months. 
Okay. All right. Rematch. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Okay, so how was it? Uh, not as easy as I thought, but it's because I forgot what to do. It's not like it's hard. Right. I just didn't remember the steps. And so if I would have just spent a little more time prepping, it would have been easy. Though, I would never have thought about the problem I ran into the first time, extending that being a problem. Um, so yeah, I would think, you know, if you drive tractors a little bit and do this yeah. a couple times a year, you won't think at all about when you're doing it. Right, well that's the point of these videos and the process here is to show the first time you do it, for me as well, it's a pain in the butt to do and it's nothing goes right, you do something wrong and it makes everything way harder than it has to be. But you can see even from try one to try two, you know, cut that time on a third and really half of that time that he spent the second go around was just kind of trying to figure out one little simple step that he forgot about doing. So besides that, third time around, I bet he's darn near what I'm doing it in, that two and a half minute mark there, taking it off, putting it back on. Not faster, but close to it. So you can see though, it's just good to see somebody doing it for the first time in real life, kind of seeing what you would see as an operator, a new tractor owner, and going through that process, through that steps, and how quickly you'll be able to get beyond that initial pain, you know, on that first go round and get to where it's really easy to take on and off and why I think it's the simplest system for a quick attached loader. So if you like what you see here, consider giving a thumbs up on this video. And if you haven't, or what? Thumbs down if they don't like it, but who, who doesn't like this? Just give him a thumbs down in the comments section. Just yeah. go like this. Give him one of those down there. You, but, just, you just tell us which one you think. Nah. Yeah, no, that's right. Know. Start over. I don't like that at all. No, that's fine. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button right down below and make sure you read through the description. All sorts of helpful links. Get a tractor like this, get an attachment, get an accessory, whatever you need for your machine. Do you have anything else to say? Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you see soon. You soon. <laughs>